Welcome to my channel, Good Groceries with Tiffany. Have you subscribed yet? How are you watching me and you haven't subscribed yet? Please like and subscribe. Got a hack for you today. I'm calling it Life Hack Mac. Corny? Okay, anyway, we're moving on. I'm going to show you today how to make macaroni and cheese with one pot. It's called a rice cooker, people. Have you ever maybe had to cook in your living room because your kitchen is being remodeled? Or maybe you were displaced from your home because of a natural disaster and you're staying in a hotel and you're tired of eating out and you're tired of eating hotel food? You can make mac and cheese. I don't know about you, but in my house, we can make mac and cheese into a meal and we don't need anything else with it. Well, maybe we should have a salad, but we don't always do that. Anyway, <laughs> let me show you what we're doing. I have all of my ingredients here, all of my accoutrement, I like to call it. <laughs> I love that word, it's so funny. It's a culinary word. Um, I have my rice cooker on, I got water in here so that it can boil, see? And I don't have it filled all the way up. And I have my setting on the saute simmer setting on my rice cooker. So we're gonna let this water come to a boil and we'll be back. We've got steam, people. Can you see it? Oh, we get a nice facial too. No, don't get too close because you will burn yourself. All right, so we got steam. That means our water's boiling. Let's open it up and look inside. Oh, that's a vigorous boil. So this is not about having a measuring cup because remember, this is a life hack because you're displaced or whatever. You can't use your kitchen. Got a full box of macaroni and a half a box. One and a half boxes of macaroni. That's it. We don't need to measure. I don't know how many cups that is. Just one and a half boxes. It's not about measuring. Just improvising. Just do it. All right? Put the lid back down. Let it come to another boil. I'll be back. Once you put your pasta in, you might have to give it a little zhuzh, a little stir, if they're kind of stuck and sitting on top of each other. Maybe once, maybe twice. But you can follow your package instructions. Don't trip. Don't sweat it. It's okay. Just stir it. I don't like to use a wooden spoon because they're nice and sturdy. See you in a little bit. Okay, friends, so we are back. Our pasta has cooked completely through. It took this about eight minutes to cook. I like it just beyond al dente for macaroni and cheese, just beyond. All right, so here's the hack. Remember, we're only using one pot. We're not using measuring cups. We're not using colanders. We're not doing any of that. Look at this. We're going to unplug our machine, take the steam nozzle off, close the lid, make sure it's closed tightly that you can pick it up and it doesn't open, and simply move your cord and pour it out. All right, so we're pouring our water out through the steam valve. Be careful, use a towel on the other end so you don't, don't burn yourself. Keep, keep a steady hand on it. I don't recommend kids doing this. Adults should do this. I don't recommend you doing this if you're blind or you only got one hand. This ain't, this ain't the thing for you to do. All right, hey man. Okay, now we're done. Let's add the cheese. All right, folks, we're back. Now it's time to add all the yummy goodness that makes this mac and cheese. All of our water is drained. So now we're gonna coat our noodles. Here's our seasonings. We have black pepper, paprika, salt, garlic powder and seasoning Please salt. Please season your mac and cheese, folks. Don't just put the cheese in there in the noodles. It's gonna be bland. Put some seasoning in there. Do you hear me? Seasoning! All right, we're back. So we're gonna put that in there. I like peppery macaroni and cheese. You can add whatever seasonings you want, but just please season it. Let's stir that up. Use a towel to hold it in place or a pot holder. Look at that, that's so good. I can't even stand it. So good, easy to stir. Flip everything up from the bottom, making sure everything gets coated with your seasonings. Try not to get pasta on the floor like I just did. All right, this is good, easy peasy. All right, next step is some margarine, not butter, margarine. I know people are like, oh my God, margarine, stop my heart, whatever. Put about that much. Don't measure it, just that much. 
Easy. Boom. Then we want to stir that up, kind of get that melted in there. Ooh, wee cha. Mm, mm, mm. This is about to be all right with me. Y'all remember that old gospel song? He's all right. He's all right. Never mind. I don't know the rights to that, so let me stop. Okay. All right. We're going to use an eight ounce container of cream cheese and just put little dollops in there. You don't want to plug, put the whole thing in there. Let's put some dollops and we're going to let that coat the noodles. This is what's going to give us our nice creamy texture or one of the things that's going to give us a creamy texture. All right. Break that on up. And in you go. All right. Yummers. Okay, and then we want to stir that. Now this could be this part could be a little bit tedious just because you want to make sure that the cream cheese is completely melted and you want all of the noodles coated with the cream cheese. Cream cheese is just I mean, I don't even know. You can't go wrong with it. So this the cream cheese is really acting in place of what would be like maybe a bechamel or a white sauce something that you would use to uh, make a cheese sauce with. Uh, and you know, because we don't, we're not cooking in the kitchen. So this is like a life hack if you're in a hotel or you have to cook in your living room, because there's some people that have to do that and they don't want to eat out. You can make this yourself. All right, so our cream cheese is melted. Got a little bit of a chunk right there, but our cream cheese is melted, okay? Now we're gonna go ahead and add our cheeses. So I have some sharp cheddar cheese, I know, the whole bag, yep. Get that kind of mixed up in there. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, oh my goodness. This is good. Mm, mm, mm. I'm hungry for some macaroni and cheese. Yes, love. <laughs> All right, next, Monterey. Boom, whole bag. Stop, oh my God, that's so much cheese. Stop it, people, stop it, stop it. Just put it in there, okay? All right, now it's getting a little sticky because the cheese is super gooey, the noodles are hot. You can pour your milk in now. So this is a quart of milk, one quart. This whole thing is going in here. I know, I know. If you don't put all of this milk in here, you're gonna be mad. Put it in there, it's okay, it really is okay. We're gonna stir that up. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh my, my, my. Ooh, yes, Lord. She's make me wanna sing a hymn. Good God Almighty. <laughs> so good. Mm, look at that. Now, I'm gonna add not a whole bag of mild cheddar. Not a whole bag. This is just for a different flavor, flavor profile. We don't need to add this whole bag. Just about a couple of hands, maybe a couple of palms full. Now we're gonna add, listen, yes, it's processed cheese, but we're gonna put it in here. Be quiet, put it in there, just some chunks. This is also gonna give us our creaminess, because remember we're not making a cheese sauce or bechamel, so we need some creaminess in here. We don't want it to be like, all stiff. So maybe about three quarters of a small log of Velveeta cheese. We don't need the whole thing. Okay. And then we're going to just push that Velveeta down in there. It'll melt. Don't worry. Push the cheese down in there. Licks it. And then taste it. If you want to add more seasoning, add more seasoning. So you see how this is nice and gooey. Mm. Listen, mac and cheese should be creamy and savory. Say it with me, savory. I don't want no bland macaroni. Anyway, so we're gonna close the lid and we're gonna put our pot, turn it back on. We've plugged it back up and we're gonna put it again on the saute. And we're just gonna kind of let that go for about five minutes. You'll start hearing it sizzle and bubble. Make sure you don't burn it and it sizzle and bubble and everything will come together and you're gonna have mac and cheese.
Can you dig it? All right, people. So my mac and cheese has been simmering in my rice pot or my rice cooker for about, about eight minutes. Let's see what we have. Ooh, shut your whole mouth. Look at this right here. Look at here, look at here. See those chunks of Velveeta have now melted in there. Ooh, mm, melt my butter and call me greasy, honey. Y'all ain't ready, y'all ain't ready. We're going in. We're going in. Oh my gosh, would you look at that? Ooh, 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 ooh. Hot, it's hot, it's hot, people. Mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. mm -mm. Y'all not ready? Y'all are not ready. So, I have some alternatives for you. If you don't have a rice cooker, you can definitely do it in one of those multi cookers, like an Instapot or something like that, but don't boil your noodles on the pressure cooker setting because they will explode. Just use the saute simmer set setting on your multi cooker. Um, again, if you don't have a rice cooker, this is not for everybody. It's just for if you're kind of displaced or maybe you just want to use one pot, you don't want to use a whole bunch of stuff going on. The rice cooker is the way to go. So this is a rice cooker hack. You can have. <laughs> Look at this. Look at this. And if you have some left over, I recommend putting a little bit of milk um, in your pan or in your bowl in the microwave before you reheat it because this cheese will come back together when it's cold. So just reheat it with a little bit of milk. And that, my friends, is Life Hack Mac. Now, don't forget to subscribe and like i love you all thank you so much for watching good groceries with tiffany this 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 is good groceries mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Good here. Mm -hmm. don't mind me i'm just gonna keep it in. Mm -hmm.